Hi folks, Barrett Davidian here. And can you believe it? The University Kingdom Hall is 50 years old. Now I was born in 1962, two years after the hall was built. And I have a lot of memories in the original hall, the way it looked before it was remodeled. In fact, this very spot, I received many a spanking. Well, you can imagine, linoleum floors, metal chairs that slid around. You couldn't keep any kid quiet in that hall. So, well, that's another story. We'll talk about that. No wonder I was always in trouble. I had a chance to talk with my father, Sharon Davidian. He had a privilege of working on the Kingdom Hall and building it. And so uh, we're going to get a little insight on how the brothers did things back then versus now. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. The building of the University Kingdom Hall actually started September 1st, 1959, when the North Unit congregation was formed. And I was congregation servant, and a week later we passed resolutions, first of all changing the name from North Unit to University, and to build a kingdom hall, including buying the property and financing. And to make a long story short, uh, one year later, the kingdom hall was completed and we occupied it. Now in between, uh, we did some planning, we bought some property, and uh, actually we began by buying the property behind the hall facing the other street and they wouldn't allow it because it was didn't cost as much as the property facing first so the planning commission of course wouldn't let us build there it is just isn't done so they said if you buy the property facing first which at that time was sixty five hundred dollars as opposed to forty five hundred dollars um, for the property we, we had purchased. If you build facing First Street, you will be able to get the planning, uh, the okay on, the, on the, uh, the zoning, which was a conditional use permit for a church. So we bought the property facing First Street. And shortly thereafter, we were able to begin building, actually three months because it took nine months to build a hall. And as congregation servant, I was, uh, you might say, the general contractor or supervisor. And it, a lot of it involved getting a headache every day. So I used to say building of this kingdom hall was like having a baby. It took nine months and I had morning sickness. But it was done. And uh, there's been a lot of things done since then to this hall. But it was pretty good for its time. Pretty good for its time. What, what about uh, uh, any unusual stories or anything that you remember during the building? Well, uh, let me start with this, uh, this quote, quote, miracle, which is uh, eyewitness, I eyewitnessed. We were stuccoing the outside of the building, which you will see in the video, possibly. And um, we only could work on a weekend. You know, this, remember, the, if you're on the regional building committee or seen Kingdom Halls lately, they're built in, in two weeks. But there's a lot of planning that goes before. But we could only work on weekends with a very limited crew. So we were uh, stuccoing 
And it was the coming toward the end of the day, end of Sunday, we, and we ran out of sand to, to mix for the stucco. And everybody was kind of downhearted because it would mean postponing the balance of the stuccoing to the next weekend. Well now, uh, the Kingdom Hall, originally built, had a door in the back on the west side next to the stage that was in the corner, an exit door. And at this time, the door was not uh, in, it was just an open space, and the sun was setting in the west. And I looked there, and all of a sudden, a man appeared, and there was a halo around him from the sun coming in behind him. And he stepped up and said, do you fellows need any sand? And I says, do we need sand? <laughs> he says, what have you got? And he says, I was just passing by, driving by with a trailer full of sand, and I don't need it, wondering if you, if you, if you could use it. And I says, oh, man, <laughs> Draw, bring it in. So we were able to mix the stucco and finish the stuccoing. So I thought that was really good. What, what, what time period did it span? So it was built in 1960, did it start in 59 or? Uh, yeah, uh, nine months before September, uh, you can figure it out yourself, we, we lay, began to lay the foundation, grade it. And by the way, uh, the parking lot on the south side, the original parking lot, if you'd like to know what your cars are rusting on, that whole area was very low and we were, they told us we had to bring in umpteen tons of sand, of uh, dirt, uh, to fill that area. Well, one of the brothers was uh, watching the, the uh, road people at Shields and Fresno Street. They were tearing up the whole intersection to redo it. And they had these huge chunks of paving material they were digging up. I don't know if you can see my arms, big and about that thick. And he says, what do you, uh, the brother said, what are you going to do with this? And they says, oh, we go out and dump it somewhere. And he says, could you come over and dump it at our kingdom hall? And they said, sure. So we come in the next morning, and here's a whole parking lot filled with these big chunks. So right away we contacted um, paving people to see whether they could smooth those out for us, and not one person, not one company would touch it except the last one I called Valley Paving. And the guy came out and he says, sure, I can handle that. Brought out his big blade, smoothed it out for us at a very reasonable price. We brought in sand to fill in the cracks, and that parking lot will be there right through Armageddon. On that hall. I, I, I carried hod. You'll see me doing some mixing of the hod for the stucco and lifting it up with a shovel. I learned how to do that to the platform uh, up high above my head without spilling it and just laying it right on there. I thought I was pretty good. But then uh, Brother Galvani, which you'll see in the picture, Don, uh, he was a lather. And there was a sec there's a section in the front of the hall as you come up the sidewalk like this, and then the flat roof. And by the way, <laughs> those flat roofs, sorry about that. Uh, but <laughs> the next time the hall's flooded, you'll find out. Uh, from the roof, that is. But um, there's this little section up there that needed to be uh, lathed out. That was with wire lathing, not the slats. But anyway, um, and he, he taught me how to, to lathe, and he put me up there uh, in a place where you couldn't sit down or stand up. And I lathed that whole area, triangular area. So whenever I walk into your hall, I say, hey, that's my work up there. So when you do work on the Kingdom Hall, you know, you can always have some, something to, to be proud about. Let's see, what, what were the amenities uh, back then as opposed to the amenities now as far as uh, chairs and carpeting? Well, we had, uh, was it linoleum in those days? What did we call that on the floor? And we had card table chairs, folding chairs. They were nice, but folding chairs are folding chairs. And uh, heels would click on the floor and of course we didn't have air conditioning we had a swamp cooler and 
otherwise, for those days, that was a different time period, and that's the way the halls were being built. So, you're, uh, but you're much improved now, much improved. When was the first um, split? When did we split into Millbrook? Uh, Millbrook um, split right after the elders' arrangement was put in in 1972. It might have been 1973, uh, where we just kind of split. Before that split, though, our territory went from Shields to uh, the river, up into Friant, Auberry, and into the Sierra, 110 miles to, what's the name of that place up there? I forgot Squaw the name Valley? of it. Squaw Valley? Hmm? Squaw Valley? No, not Squaw Valley. So we had a huge territory. That included Clovis and Auberry and Meadow Lakes and Mammoth Hot Springs out there, 110 is it, miles. Is that why you and I took all those drives to all those different congregations to give your talk? Yes. See, we didn't have a... Uh, so, so the first uh, congregation that divided off from us was Clovis. And subsequently, Auberry and then Clovis divided. And then finally our boundary came to Willow. And then we split half and half with Millbrook. And then later on, of course, you know, Woodward Park. And uh, we have now all these other Sierra View. And then the Spanish. That was interesting, the Spanish language. Congregations began in uh, 1962. And all we had then was a kind of a faltering watchtower study in the Spanish language at the West Congregation. And a, circus, a, a Spanish circuit overseer came in and he talked to the brothers there and says, do you want a congregation here? And I happened to be in on all this because I was city overseer. And he says, do you want a congregation here? And everybody said yes. And he says, well, you're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to support it. And the first Spanish congregation was formed. That went to the West congregation, which is now Kearney Heights. Then they split, and we got Spanish North. And then it went on from there. Do you, know, do you remember the year that happened for no. Spanish North? You don't? Okay. Can't remember right now. The old brain is going. <laughs> Anything else? Any other little tidbits you got? Oh, let's see. I painted the entire... I hate to brag. It's terrible to brag like this. <laughs> but I painted... Uh, at the end of the... We'd gotten our ocup, ocup, uh, occupants permit, and everything was finished, except the interior paint. And I couldn't get any brothers on this particular weekend to paint, and we wanted to move in. So I went down to the hall with the paint, and I painted for 13 hours straight the whole interior of the Kingdom Hall, including the trim and everything. So, anyway, it's been a very enjoyable time, and one of these days, uh, why don't you ask me to give a talk over there and so I can come and speak at my home congregation. All right. Thanks, Pop. Okay. Well, I'd like to thank my father for taking the time out to share some good memories with us. And I'm going to continue the footage. We've got a little bit more to go. Hopefully you're not too bored. And uh, I wish I knew all the people that were in the movie. Maybe you'll recognize someone. For sure, the people I do know is my father, of course, in a white t-shirt. Uh, Charlie Burns is sitting on a ladder in front of the Kingdom Hall working on the letters. You'll see him. And uh, you'll also see my mother, along with both my sisters, Karen and Rebecca. They'll be walking along on the sidewalk. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.